Good morning. It's Tuesday here now. I don't know if it's Tuesday where and when you are. It's also the beginning of my second day of the 30 day virtuoso challenge. I wanted to talk about goals and the difference between learning and practice. So I'll try to be quick. First, let's get into goals. These are really important in the big picture because that's what will keep you motivated. For example, my big abstract goal here is to get more gooder at playing the piano. Merely playing for an hour or two a day will get me there. So the goals need to be more concrete. What I'm aiming for is to be able to play fast, clean lines that stay within the framework of the song structure when I'm improvising. Right now, when I let my fingers go on autopilot, it's a mash of notes that may or may not resemble the song. This book of exercises, I believe, will give me a great capacity for musical improvisation. So, let's break this out into goals. First of all, the book itself gives you a goal of being able to play the whole book in an hour's time. Realistically, that is likely to be outside what I can achieve in this 30-day period, especially as I'm learning a whole heap of new patterns and approaching some scales that I have avoided because they have a scary amount of sharps or flats in them. Learning new patterns is going to take some time, but there is an intermediate goal, intermediate goal, which can be achieved playing through the whole book in one day. Yesterday took me six hours to get most of the way through the first two sections. This will also serve the greater goal of getting more gooder at playing the piano. The difference between learning and practicing is both mental and physical. Learning takes place when you have not ever experienced the new pattern of information. Uh, on the piano, this may be when you come across running chromatic scales with both hands being a minor third apart for the whole journey, or it may occur when you're seeing a chart for the first time. Without any experience with patterns that are relevant to the information, your brain goes into a hyper-focused mode as it has to turn that information into signals for the muscles to move. Once you've assimilated the new information, the brain no longer has to dedicate processing and can then focus more on efficiency. This is when you've hit practice mode. When I get into practice mode, then my fingers can work out strength and coordination to more quickly respond to firing patterns in the brain. So my progress at this point is that I'm still processing patterns for much of the latter half of the exercises. I'm in learning mode. It will take some repetitions to get from that into practice mode. And once I get into practice mode, then I can work towards that goal of playing through the whole book in one day. Yeah, that, that's not coming. Couldn't possibly work. Anyway, that's what I got for today. Uh, so, as always, be good and uh, peace out.